Now, let's get into some of the updates. Do I need to further explain? What, let, let me stop. Let me slow my roll for a minute. Now, I'm going to give you my reasoning for not being involved in the Israelite community as well. Right? Here we go. Because with this land initiative I'm working on, I've learned that I, what I've learned is that it makes more sense to outsource. It makes more sense to deal with the professional. You hear, you hear what he's saying? It makes more sense to outsource. No. The new breed, it makes more sense to outsource because I believe these guys are both disgusted and envious of Pastor Dow. Because the root of polygyny is evil and it attracts other evil spirits. I have said it before that Dow is the face of polygyny. Now, these hypocrites criticized him for making sure the women have no contact with the outside world and they don't have any jobs or any merit of their own okay but if they had the choice they would do the same thing all right they're just too lazy to do so i mean these negroes have never built what dallas built so they don't know the level of fear and the level of temptation that he faces now me i can criticize Dow for his adultery because i have been consistent and firm that Polygyny is of the devil, but guys like New Breed and Ringo are trying to build something because they're envious of the kingdom of Tao. They don't want to do the real work that he did, understanding that this is a 57-year-old man. It took years for him to build straightway, all right? For them, it just takes too much time in this world of social media where things are just moving so fast. So they turn to white daddy so he can micromanage what they can and cannot say. I believe Dow has a fear of paying child support and alimony. He don't want to lose all his years of hard work. Now, I'm certainly not justifying him taking another man's wife. I'm just conveying to you the roots of polygyny, why it is so evil, and the rabbit hole of sin that it just sends you down. All right, and this is something that I said in the first video that I did about Pastor Dow last year. I believe his doctrine was submerged by seducing spirits because he wanted rewards for his hard work. And to him, the scriptures was not fulfilling that void that he had. Now, I do believe Dow, Pastor Dow, studied scriptures about Esau having to serve Jacob and from what I can see, Pastor Dow has white men working for him. Okay, he's independent with black men in his inner circle. I do not believe he trusts the white man like that. I mean, he resides in a very racist city. But these Negroes, New Breed and Ringo TV, they're going to work for white men. And they're going to accept his statutes and commandments. I could find outside investors, but they're not going to tell me and give me stipulations that I can't run my community based off of God's law, statutes, and commandments, and I have to put my beliefs to the back burner and then allow all these races in this community because it's being funded by. This is why I rather say let's just let's just try to piece it together and have our own community with what we have. Because if you go to these other races, these other ethnicities for the money and for the investment, they're going to have a say in what goes on on that community. So I do get that. But never will I say, oh, since the white man invested in it, you know, let them come, let them worship Satan. Right. How dare you open the door for the heathen to worship Satan and then you forsake the laws and statutes of the Most High to sell out? It makes no sense for your soul. Now, I don't know if this is true, but UNY was something that he was a part of. Now, Tim says people that donated to UNY never got their money back. Now he's not a part of it. Be wise, y'all. Look, I ain't got nothing to say to these stupid ass Israelites. If they want to go there, go there. Invest, invest. Just remember on April 23rd, 2024 at 7 p.m. Eastern, Deacon Sakari told your stupid ass. Respect to you all for giving me certain information and all of that. So let me first off by show show some respect for the people who are showing showing help, you know. Let me see. Quincy Youngblood Judah says I knew you was a fraud. Let me get you up out of here. <laughs> Whoever Quincy Youngblood Judah, all praises to Quincy Youngblood Judah. We love you, brother. Come over here. We're not scamming you over here, brother. I'll be blocking these people left and right. All you religious folks, you're going to get blocked. All you people who don't understand business and growth and don't understand what's going on right now, you will be blocked. And listen, you know the crazy part, y'all? I didn't even tell you why I'm not a part of the community yet. 
I haven't even shared. I haven't even gave my reasoning yet. I haven't even given y'all a reason. And already, I'm gonna get attacked by these crazies who in their Bible all day but ain't building nothing. No, you're not in your Bible enough. So much to the point where you and Ringo TV miss the layups in the scriptures. You do not even believe Jesus Christ is God, dude. So Satan will gladly open doors for you through a godless heathen because he shares the same sentiments and is incredulous to the deep things of God like you are. The Messiah himself being the chief cornerstone. Listen to this, Newbreed. Because you were in here earlier. I hope you're still in here listening. Verse 21. In whom all the building, he said we weren't building, building, fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. I'd rather build God's house any day over than a all inclusive, all races, pagans, all beliefs and religion community. Verse 22, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the spirit. Now, guess what? He thinks he can escape the curses. See, we're building. Deuteronomy 30 says, when we teach our people to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, then he will end our captivity. Did you know that was in the Bible? Deuteronomy 30 and 3. It didn't say when we build a community in North Carolina, he was going to end our captivity and bring us back to the land. It says, Deuteronomy 30 and 2, when we return to him and obey all that he commanded Moses that day, that's what he says, and our children with all our heart and all our soul, then the Lord will turn our captivity and bring us back to the land. What's more important? Exactly. I also believe this is a word for Esau to turn away from his wicked ways because the strangers that the scriptures speak of are talking about Esau, Edom, whom are the Gentiles and all the other pagan practicing races of people on the earth. As I stated before, the earth is a lease agreement. God is the landlord. And right now, Esau's name is on the lease. God has ordained for the stranger, who is Esau, to be above Jacob for a time until the Most High returns and makes the heathen our servants. It's written in the scriptures. Blessed are those who wait on the Lord. For Israel, this is a trying time right now because the Most High had to humble our people. Although he said one nation shall be stronger than the other in Genesis 25. The fact that we are far stronger to see them up over us is like an insult to us. But that was done intentionally by the Most High. But to say the Bible and God and being a Hebrew Israelite is my personal beliefs and this community is outside of that and beyond that is going to have nothing to do with that? That's off. That's wrong. That's evil. Now, let's say, let, Newbury, we, we can't escape the curses of Deuteronomy or we wouldn't need a Savior. The Savior is coming to take us and get us from under the curses, right? Now, let's say he starts this community, and then he said all the heathens are allowed. All non-Israelites are allowed. All the races are allowed. But look what it says. Now, watch this. I want to know if he's going to be able to escape these curses in that community. Deuteronomy 28 and 43. Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger, because you said the non-Israelites can come in there, right? The stranger that is within thee, in your community, in your land, shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So you want these heathens and these strangers to be in your community as if you're going to escape the curses, they're going to end up running that community. You're not going to put them in their place and tell them, I'm an Israelite. If you're in, if you're in this community, thus say the Bible, you serve the Israelites. You're subservient, you're inferior to the Israelites, thus say the Most High. If I get a community, all you non-Israelites can be there, but you're going to be in chains. Period. Now, Deacon, that's why I said they're covetous of Pastor Dow, because they see a bunch of white men taking orders from him. Remember, they once supported Dow. He's the one who inspired them to do all of this building, but they just don't want to do the hard work. I believe Pastor Dow is intentionally that white men work for him. Okay, you got to understand this is a man who probably witnessed all sorts of racism while he was in the military. I mean, he's a different kind of breed. Now, Deacon, I said this because you mentioned that you are not familiar with the latest situation that Dowell has been accused of and all that's come out recently. Again, we're not dealing with a religious group. Please, I need you. This is what I need y'all to do in the chat. Damn. So all that, all that person said was, what about the second exodus? You're talking about this community and we're going to be able to pass it down from generation to generation. Do you not think we're at the end of the world? Now, I know some people might have thought that 100 years ago, 
maybe even 50 years ago. But damn, we're right on the brinks. And all you had to do was say, yeah, there will be a second exodus. But until then, you know, um, we're going to do this. You didn't. It's like, nah, we're not worried about no second exodus. I understand that y'all been. Let me just stop here at phase three and just explain something. I understand that I've been an active person in the Israelite community for a number of years. And this may be an abrupt change in my direction. But I need to make this very, very clear. I need you all to separate church and state. Mm, mm -mm. I need you all to understand that this is business. Mm, mm, mm. This is something that this is me selling my soul because of the money. I'm suppressing my so-called religious beliefs. Damn. Put on the land, you can put your proposal on the table. It's no more new breed, you need to do this. You with desire, you need to do that. If y'all gonna roll this out, y'all should do it like that, or y'all should do it like this. This is for collaborative growths. Do you understand me? So if you have a proposal on the table, you would be able to chalk that out and we can negotiate your proposal. Professionals handle building and large scale framing tasks while the community, including the new breed dot love supporters, support these efforts through volunteer work and fundraising. The altar you niggas going to go out there and end up in slavery. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, look, look, look. He said it at the same time as me. Nah, bro said it at the same time as me. All you stupid ass Israelites, I pray, just go out there. There's gonna be some white man waiting out there to put all you niggers in slavery. Watch. Me and Robert Henry was thinking the same thing. You guys are gonna pack all your shit out there. There's gonna be white people waiting out there to put your stupid back in slavery, dummy. Exactly. While these Negroes trying to separate church and state. Some white man is there, ready to put you Negroes back in real chains, playing with the most high. You see, it's Negroes like this that are why we're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Okay, God said you are a stiff-necked people. Okay, you're very stubborn, very rebellious. Okay, you sell your soul, sell your own people out. But anyways, uh, that's all I'm going to make on this matter in the time being don't let your flesh write checks your soul cannot cash in the afterlife your flesh will send you to hell and it won't show up right enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>